So to estimate the number of species that are threatened with extinction, you need to know what proportion of species are threatened and how many species there are. And the answers to both of those questions are a little bit more complicated, but bear with me and I'll try and outline it. The IUCN have done a fantastic job over the last 25 years or so of assessing the extinction risk of all the species in an increasing number of taxonomic groups. So to estimate how many species are threatened with extinction, you need to know how many species there are and what fraction of them are threatened. There's no absolute certainty on how many species there are, but there's a range of estimates and they seem to be converging somewhere between 5 million and 10 million. So for this assessment, we used a recent estimate published a few years ago that there are 8.1 million species of animals and plants. And we also uh, needed to know, as we'll see later, what fraction of them are insects. And it looks as though about three quarters of species are insects. So that's about five and a half million insect species. The reason we need to know about insects separately is they seem to be a bit of an outlier in terms of what fraction of species are threatened. So the IUCN have been doing brilliant work over 25 years now, assessing all the species in an increasingly wide range of different taxonomic groups, like birds and mammals and amphibians, and reforming corals and cycads. And they've also been assessing representative samples of other groups, like higher plants. So although the fraction of species that are threatened with extinction does differ among these groups, down as low as seven, eight, nine percent in bony fish, up to two thirds of cycads, the average across groups is about one in four, 25%. So you might think, okay, 25% of species are threatened with extinction, but insects haven't been as well covered, basically because they are so diverse that it's not been possible to accumulate enough information on enough of the species. The best evidence we have is that insects may have a rather lower fraction of threatened species but it's very unlikely to be much below 10%. So we've assessed uh, the overall number of threatened species based on 10% of insects. So that's a bit over half a million insects and 25% of the animal and plant species that aren't insects. So that's about another half a million. Add them together, you have a million. What we didn't do is make any attempt whatsoever to estimate how many microbial species there might be that are threatened with extinction. And that's because we really don't know how many species of microbe there even are. 